Hello there fellow model makers and welcome to the third part of our Edward 130 second scale Profi Pack BF109 E3 build. So far we have completed the cockpit and the engine and glued together the fuselage halves and the wings. The idea now was to glue the wings and the fuselage together. But once again this kit was to disappoint me. The fuselage is too wide to fit into the wings. I really couldn't understand why this was as there are no apparent gaps in the fuselage halves that would suggest that the fuselage assembly was too wide. The wing halves too seem to be aligned properly and yet the fuselage does not fit. Anyway, after much thought I decided that the only way to make the two parts fit was to sand away the inside seam of the top wing. I marked out the amount that needed to be sanded away with some masking tape. I used my hand drill to do the sanding. As I go along, I keep cleaning up with my hobby knife. I also keep checking about how close I was since I don't want to sand any more than I have to. Well, finally I managed to get the fuselage and the wings to fit. But I have also managed to leave huge gaps between the two. This is going to take a lot of putty and patience to fill. Anyway, so here we go. The first thing I do is fill the gap with some Liquitex modeling paste. Before it sets, I wipe away any extra paste with a moist Q-tip. Since the gap is rather wide, I am going to use this first layer of putty as a base to build on. This will serve as a foundation for subsequent puttying. I let this first layer of putty dry overnight. Now a second layer of modeling paste. Once again, I wipe away the extra, but this time I am a little closer to where I need to be. Finally, a third layer of putty. This time I don't wipe it away. Rather, I let it set and sand it down, starting with a 180 grit sanding sponge. I work my way up to finer sanding sponges till I polish the surface with a 1200 grit sponge.
Finally, to smoothen out the putty even further, I go over it with a moist Q-tip, removing any extra putty. I now fix the rear horizontal stabilizer assembly in place. Next, I put together the air intakes on the wings. The cockpit has two instrument panels. We had assembled the lower one earlier while constructing the cockpit. Now is the time to do the top instrument panel. Here is another problem point. The rear of the instrument panel is larger than what I presume is a leather cover. I will fill this gap by adding some putty here. After the putty has dried a little, I clean up the area with the moist Q-tip and my hobby knife.
The putty is then painted to match the rest of the canvas slash leather cover. It's time now to start masking the kit. I start by applying some artist masking fluid on parts that would be difficult to mask with tape. The engine is partially masked with some sponge and gaps sealed with masking fluid. When the masking fluid has dried, I mask the rest of the engine with tape. The wheel wells are masked using some paper towel dipped in water. I was hoping that masking the canopy would be easier considering I had these canopy masks that came with the profi pack. Unfortunately, given my luck, this was not to be. For some reason, the mask just did not come off the carrier sheet. When the masks finally did come off the sheet, the edges were ragged, rendering them useless. I stuck the masks to a flat surface and then used my hobby knife to clean up the edges best I could. However, most of the masks were beyond rescue, so I had to go the traditional way of masking the canopy with my own masking tape.
I also used this extra thin tape to mask certain parts of the canopy. The gaps in the middle were filled with masking fluid. I give the entire kit a thorough clean with a paper towel dipped in alcohol. The canopy is now glued in place using Tamiya Extra Thin Cement. With all the parts masked, the kit is ready for painting. But that is something we will cover in the next part of this series, where I will first give the entire kit a cover of aluminium paint and then use the hairspray technique to add chipping later. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Till the next edition, have a great time and happy modeling.